Elsewhere, Tana River County leaders have expressed dissatisfaction with the national government for continued marginalization and destruction of the ecosystem. Led by Governor Dado Godana, the leaders claim that the natural calamities experienced in the area, especially in Tana Delta sub-county, were as a result of destructive development along the river Tana upstream. Godana cited the mega dams constructed along Kenya's longest river as a contribution factor to drought and floods, adding that it was ironic for the national government to initiate irrigation projects in the area while at the same time denying the area of much needed water by controlling water flow from the dams upstream. Amepanga na tunaomba ailete. Kwa sababu ndiyo mtu huu utajaa. Ukijaa utafurika. Mazingira yatakuwa mazuri. Maziwa yatajaa. Samaki watakuwa. Nege tutawapata. Kona sasa mungu hawa kuhuya gawa. Sasa matumaini yetu sisi ya koko el nino. Ya kwa kwa mungu lakini serikali wanatumaliza, wanamaliza muto. Uchumi yetu ni mbaya. Si muorma wala si mpokomu wala si muordei. Kauti zimekuja kususaidia. Lakini cha kustajabisha kule by partisan. Kalozo musioka pa moja na yule mwenzake. Badala ya kuwanyanyua hawa watu ambayo kwa mba wako chini. Munaenda kujisimamia nini ambayo kwa mba mme kuwa na mzizi tangu mbeleni kwa hivyo tuongezewe kauti za hata sisi pia hapa tunatosha kwa sababu tuko maskini ya hali ya juu mwana nisho tunariba hana lolote hana barabara, hakuna shule, hakuna tetu ndidi our boundaries tunanyanyaswa yani we are behind alafu kuseme leo mwana nisho tunariba alipe rushuru kama mwana nisho wa Nairobi huo hayo ni maonevu Oyo wabunge na muomba and then in petition to Adok. You push that taxation policy ambayo inasema not kufiwe that taxation ambayo ikusawa na all countries. Because we are not equal. Elsewhere, over 306 persons living with disabilities.